Steve, since Brunig went missing in February, the Westbrook community has come together many times to support his family and wait, hoping for his safe return. Tonight, however, was the first time they've come together since it was confirmed that Brunig's body was found. Anyone that knew DJ, um, whether it was a short period of time or a whole lifetime, could say that he's an undescribable human being. David DJ Brunig's death has shaken the Westbrook community. Hundreds waited outside the high school where he graduated in 2013 to remember the popular athlete and friend to many. In the 21 years that he was here, there's a lifetime worth, worth of memories and I could go on. He was an unbelievable athlete. That's what he, that's what he wanted. Um, he cared about Westbrook, the community, uh, the school. Brunig went on to make an impact in the Castine community as a Dean's List student at Maine Maritime Academy. He went missing while on his way to meet friends in Orono the night of February 27th. Officials say Brunig was last seen walking towards a bridge that crosses the Stillwater River, which flows into the Penobscot. Searchers scoured the banks of the river for months for any sign of him. The search coming to a close last Friday when Brunig's body was found along the waterfront in Bangor. Those closest to him are here tonight for the family he leaves behind. He was a very selfless person. He was here for everybody. He was here for family and friends. And that's what he's looking down on us hoping right now. He just wants us to remember him the way that he should be remembered and be there for his family. Brunig was so well known for playing sports that in lieu of flowers, many are making donations in his name to the athletic departments at Westbrook and Maine Maritime. He played for both schools. A memorial service will be held tomorrow. Live in the studio, Courtney Sturgeon, WMTW News 8.